Welcome back to the garage, everyone. Now, I apologize if you cannot hear me, because I'm sick. Also, it's kind of raining out, because I'm making a video on car stuff. But anyways, today what we have to do is play musical cars. I need to get that car over here, because we're getting a dumpster tomorrow, so that I can clean the garage out of all of that garbage. So that I can put the car in the garage, butt it up nice to the wall so I have plenty of space behind the garage to put the snowblower and stuff. So that way she could sleep nice over here in the corner of the garage. Also because I just, I hate having a dirty garage. So, I, I gotta clean it. But we're gonna play musical cars. Also, I gotta move some of the stuff. So that the car actually fit over here just for tomorrow. Because I need the space, the dumpster's gonna go on that side of the driveway. Exciting stuff. Now that that's out of the way, we can begin step one, to put in the car away for the winter time. Now this will be my first car that I ever store for the winter time, so I've been doing all kinds of research on the computer, looking at YouTube, and I think I got a good idea of what we have to do. So I've been making those steps, I was kind of hoping to have it done by now because it's already snowed out. Uh, I still have to get an oil change, uh, I take it to the dealership to get that. I still have warranty and all that stuff. and for the price of a, you know, full cover thing, they check the whole car. I can't really beat it. Plus, I got a good relationship with the dealership, so I like to stop in once in a while. And I don't really put that many miles on the car, so oil changes come far and few between. But there are some things that I want to do, like change the cabin air filter, just so that, you know, I don't really get a musty smell in the spring. But some of the things that uh, we're going to do to prep get this car ready is, you know, one clean the garage this side's clean this is why I keep the car because I have a garage door opener over here but not over there so more or less this side of the garage is clean I do have some tools and some garbage which hopefully when you're seeing this video I'm already working hard at getting this stuff cleaned out in the dumpster get it out of here but if you're new to the channel um, I try to spend all my money on the focus stuff but there are times where I try to be an adult and spend it on the house. Just boring. But it's got to be done. So all my garbage is over there. We have been spending less and less time on the focus. But step two is, after all my research I have done, I bought a few things. I bought a battery maintainer. Now this isn't a trickle charger. It's basically a, you know... You plug it in, you leave it plugged in. You can either do it in the car, take the battery out of the car. It comes with like three different chargers. Uh, one's a 12 volt charger. Where is it? One's a clamp charger, one's a 12 volt, and one just goes right on the battery terminals, which is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna leave the hood prop just a wee bit, plug it in, leave it plugged in, and it'll maintain the battery for the whole winter time. Uh, the second thing that we're gonna do is 
I got some stable uh, fuel saver storage stabilizer stuff. Either way, it will keep the fuel good for up to 24 months, which is obviously way more than what we need. Uh, obviously, you know, springtime we're gonna take this thing out and probably burn the tires off of it. But the other thing that we have to do is after I get the oil change, we're then gonna go wash the car, make sure it's clean. We're gonna clean the inside out, make sure there's you know 95% gas in it because we don't want any moisture building up while it's sitting and you don't want to start your car over the winter time because then you know chance you can build moisture bad stuff happens that's what I read I'm not an expert that's what I read the only thing I got is I got a sweet little car cover now this isn't a canvas cover it's not a cool ST car cover like I want it to be uh, I will eventually get one of those but it's gonna be sitting in the garage so this had some you know average reviews on YouTube average reviews on Amazon but I figure if it sits in the garage what you know what could possibly happen in here it's not gonna rain it's not gonna snow in here a little bit of dirt a little bit of dust I'll probably work on the house a little bit so it should stay clean more or less we're gonna try to clean it up as much as possible we gotta plug the exhaust make sure there is nothing in the car that maybe like mice or something might want to get into but like I said it's inside my garage is attached to my house so I mean I'll be out here stupid light I'll be out here checking on the car anyways. I'm, I'm gonna miss it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stare at it creepily from the window. It's gonna be awful. That's basically what I have for you guys today. One of the other things I have is something that I always do, doesn't matter what car I have. I obviously don't need to do it with the Focus right now because we're not gonna drive it. But my Forester, dad wagon out there. I have always used this heat stuff. Now it's basically just an antifreeze and water remover but my dad swears by it to keep all the moisture out of the gas tank you guys know you don't want any kind of water in your fuel system gas is crappy enough as is that we get paid out the you know we we pay a lot for it so if anything heat's pretty cheap I believe mean, it's like a dollar or something to kill a bottle buy a package whatever it treats 15 20 gallons of fuels so every time you fill up you dump some heat in there keep all the water and moisture out of your gas tank I think that's going to be the end of my video. It's going to be very boring talking. I will keep talking and show you my focus so that if you're new to the channel, you kind of get an idea of what we're doing. I'll even pop the hood for you. Yes, I still have that on. If you've been around, you've uh, seen my cheap accessories video. We're keeping that up. Well, this is our 2014 Focus ST. We got her all prettied up. We have a boo-boo. But over the winter time, we're just gonna keep working on this thing. Let's see bee stickers. Well, we're gonna get it, get it looking nice. There are definitely some mods that I wanna do now that we have two cars. Yes, two cars. Most people have two cars. We don't. We've uh, used the ST as a family car. <laughs> Which is awesome. Kids love it. It's an awful family car. Don't listen to me. But we're definitely going to have some more uh, mods coming. Probably go with uh, some aero stuff this year. Uh, I did a lot of the engine stuff. Air intake, exhaust. Making it look nice. Because I want to do some more shows. Um, cruise-ins and car meets and stuff. So I wanted it to look cool. But I definitely, I mean, it looks... I don't have any new wheels or anything. So it looks pretty stock. So I want to do some aero make it look a little wider we're definitely gonna wide body it even if it's stupid because I like it I like doing weird stuff but stick around definitely stick around we got some cool stuff coming up and if I can stop spending my money on house stuff which I will stop we're gonna put some money into this car while it sits so that in the springtime it's like starting the new car and it'll be fun to drive also like I said we'll go to car shows hopefully people just go or think I'm stupid because it's a focus. I've already got crap from that for uh, who puts a focus in a garage over the winter time. I do, okay? I do. Because I live in New York State and it just snows. And I have a Subaru, so, you know, go through the snow. I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll actually do some fun stuff next time, I promise.